Welcome to BoundariesForEffectiveMinistry.org. As you may know from your own experience, and as you can see from these photographs, falling in love is a very personal matter between two people, and the decision to get married is also theirs and theirs alone. However, once they tell their families of their plans, it becomes clear that there is a communal aspect to marriage and matrimony that seems quite normal, because it is normal. What also seems normal to engaged couples is to go down to their county clerk and fill out an application for a marriage license. And this makes the marriage quite public and not a private affair or a private family affair because it now includes the government. They do it because they think they have to get a marriage license and because everybody does it. And they do it because, well, nobody ever told them that maybe they should consider how a marriage license changes their relationship to God. However, there are couples who understand the negative religious implications of a marriage license and wish to marry without one. The most common question we get from those couples is, would we be really married if we didn't have the state's permission, if we didn't have a license from the state? And so in this introductory video, we're going to answer that question from a Christian perspective. And in other videos, uh, we're going to deal with questions about name usage, property ownership, access to each other in times of crisis, among other things. But we'll also consider questions that are not commonly asked, but which should be asked, such as, what is a license? Who gives it? Who holds it? And what happens as a result of somebody having a license? You'll be very surprised to know the answer to that question. So let's get started.